back at it again. He's got a goodbye YouTube, hello new live stream. What part of saying goodbye to YouTube requires posting a live stream? <laughs> what is he thinking? And yes, the humming is back. Don't ask me how to get rid of it. I don't know. As you can see, his scabs are also back in full force. I mean, <laughs> that, that's insane. Sally's got to do something about those bed bugs. That, that's just neglect. If, if he's if he if Sally's going to claim he's disabled and she has to take care of him, that would be a neglect. You know, I tried to keep my mouth shut this whole time, but I'm not keeping my mouth shut on this at all. All you fucking trolls that want to sit down and run your mouths and try to trick me and this and that and the other, y'all need to cut the crap. And y'all sitting there saying that, oh, I was proud to go to jail and I was proud of swinging on that dude. No. I wasn't proud that I had to swing on that motherfucker. I was proud that I did what I had to do to protect my family. Yeah, you protected your family from a guy with a sign on the street. <laughs> You know, Rax, like a few hours ago, bro, you were just saying how you didn't feel bad about it. It was no big deal. You took what you take that down because that the prosecutor was going to get it. Man, everything you do gets archived, bro. Everything. Everything, bro. I did what I had to do to protect my family. And I'm not ashamed to say that I had to protect my family. I'm not ashamed. But what pisses me off even more is you stupid motherfuckers taking advantage of people like me. You guys know that I've had fucked up relationships. But yet you choose to play on that. You I'm just going to throw this out there. Cyrax thinks everybody's got a perfect life other than him. I don't, I've only ever heard of like two other people, maybe three or four that have broadcast their life to such a degree that he has. There's Chris Chan, King Cobra, JFS, maybe a handful of others, but there's very few people that have put out as much personal detail on their life as he has. So much of the things he's complaining about, we just should not know about. He's put that stuff out there on his own. And it's not taking... I don't think it's taking advantage of him. Uh, it, it's it just... It is what it is at this point. It, it, it's... Um, he's, got a, he's got a whole little part of the internet. It's just, just his little corner. And it's not going the way he wants it to. to take advantage of that. By playing me and trapping me, catfishing me, all this stupid shit. All because you guys know that I've had shitty fucking relationships that were mostly abusive. Y'all need to cut the crap, dude. Because let me tell you right now, I got somebody that's very fucking real. That knows about what's going on. Let me tell you right now. They ain't too happy with you motherfuckers. They're pissed. And trust me when I say they ain't going nowhere. They're solid as a rock. I've already had several conversations with them about everything. I've been open and honest with them about everything. And guess what? They actually understand. And they're not holding it against me like you fucking assholes do. You know what's funny? You guys tell me to take responsibility for my actions, right? You tell me to take responsibility for what I do? Why don't the fuck you guys take responsibility for what you fucking do? You guys sit there and you ruin lives for what? 
You send people to jail and fucked up their lives for what? A click here, a view there, a few dollars here and there. You guys are fucking disgusting. Oh, and to Michael Hacking, fuck you, dude. You're a fucking piece of shit. Sitting there saying that my boy Risky ain't got my best interest in heart. Bitch, yes he does. <laughs> I don't think Cyrax knows what ha uh, somebody having their best interest in heart, heart, heart even means. His mom or grandmother, whatever you want to call it, takes no care of him. She doesn't keep an eye on him from the legal standpoint. She doesn't keep an eye on him for his health. She's not, she never takes him to go see a doctor or a dentist. She damn sure doesn't make sure he changes clothes and bathes. So he, you know, the mom's not looking out for his best interest. Uh, Ed, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Ed, but he's not looking out for Cyrax's best interest. He's just doing Ed things. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, I'm not going to comment on the, the other people. I, I think everyone could form their own opinions on the, the YouTube people that he's in contact with. But I, I don't think he knows what it's what it means to have someone looking out for your best interest in mind. I, I think that's a completely foreign concept. And that that's that's probably going to, uh, you know, the, the whole his whole view on, on that new uh, the new guy, Risky Panacea. May or may not change moving forward, but something tells me it's going to change. I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not thinking that guy's going to uh, be playing that game he's playing right now forever. He's the motherfucker that's been doing shit for me. He's the motherfucker that's had my back. Unlike you, you fucking love life. I don't look at you. You hang out with Marty. You hang out with William Corey, bitch face. You hang out with Stevie G and all these low life scumbags. Because that's what you are. You're a scumbag. You know, there's an old saying, Michael, that even you should know by now. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. When I look at you, I see a scumbag, a piece of shit. I don't see a good person. I see a sick, twisted troll that doesn't know when to fuck off. So, Michael, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead to me. I'm tired of being jerked around. And I'm tired of being fucked with. So all y'all dumbass trolls, you guys want me off the internet, guess what? I'm gone. You want to why? I don't need your bullshit. I don't need this garbage. I got better shit that I can do than to sit around the internet and waste my time with a bunch of fucking assholes that aren't doing anything with their lives. Yeah, he's going to be back, like, tomorrow, tonight, next two days. He's not staying off the internet. There's no 0% chance that's going to happen. Uh, unless the internet physically gets cut from that house, because we all know Sally's not going to disable the internet, like, take him off the Wi-Fi, take him off his cell phone. He's going to be on the internet no matter what. He said a couple hours ago he was retiring from the internet again. He's right back on it. So y'all can consider this my official final video for good. I'm done. I'm done being jerked around by you fucktards. I'm tired of my family being put in danger because of you. I'm sick of it. Y'all need to grow up and get a life. So you know what I say? Fuck the trolls and fuck YouTube. It's all a fucking joke. YouTube is just like you trolls. And you trolls are just like YouTube. You guys are a 
fucking joke. So, fuck you, and fuck YouTube. You're both a bunch of fucking jokes that I ain't got time for. Peace out, bitches. Yeah, he's going to be back. 100% going to be back. I bet he'll be back by tomorrow. Like, There's no way he's staying off YouTube. And if he's not back on YouTube by tomorrow, he's going to be clowning himself with some troll. Uh, he doesn't know how to not answer the phone. So we'll see. But have a good day, everybody. If I see anything else, I'll be back with you.